everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2025 Subaru Forester and its 11-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments, controls, speaker locations. We're going to test out the 5.1 capabilities. Then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you want to hear even more on the system, sign up below to become a Daily Motor member. I'm going to record a members-only sound test with real copyrighted music, and there are tracks that were requested by other Daily Motor members, so it allows you to get kind of a more intimate um, impression of the sound system. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. Refreshed for 2025, the Subaru Forester. Some new looks, some fun wheels here in the sport trim. The sport trim is a little bit of an interesting model because it focuses a little bit more on looking cool and maybe focusing a little bit more on the real world functionality of the vehicle, a little bit less on the off-road lifestyle bits, but it is still quite functional and has a lot of good features with some of these upgrade packages on it. If you do want to see more on this Forester, check the link below. We've got a fuel economy test, a full review, and a little bit of an infotainment system breakdown as well. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. Got this large vertical infotainment screen here, and you can get to the sound settings in two ways. You can either go through the settings menu, or when you're on the media screen, click on this icon here, and then you get sound customization. First, we'll go through the bass, mid-range, and treble adjustments. Next to that, you have adjustment for front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance, and that is it for audio adjustments here in the Forester. For audio controls, you've got a nice volume knob here, it's within good reach of the driver and passenger. Decent clickage, a little bit of wiggleness to it, but we are dealing with a little bit more of a basic car here. You've also got volume adjustment buttons on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, you can use the tuner knob over here, you can use the touch screen in the proper menu, or you can use these track selection buttons here. Now. Interestingly enough, I got in the car last night, took it home from the airport, and I didn't love how the volume controls and the track controls are so different from each other. Most vehicles, they're either symmetrical, so volume would be here and track would be here, so uh, the, at least your brain's used to them being in the same place, just opposite. I don't love that because then uh, if I'm driving with one hand on the wheel, then the other hand can't adjust the track or the sound. But then... The other thing is that these are in different places, so up here your brain isn't thinking of the same sort of controls as down here. So I like when they're very, very close together, maybe uh, up, down, and then right, left, right in one little area. So just an interesting observation I had while driving the car last night. And you've also got, oh no, that's it. That's it for audio controls. For audio inputs here in the Forester, you have your standard AM, FM. Do we have Sirius XM satellite radio? Yes, we do. Okay, do we have HD radio support on FM? Let's see. Let's see. Yep, we got HD radio support as well. Coming back to the media screen, we've got support for a USB-A and a USB-C port, as well as a 3.5mm auxiliary input jack. We've got Bluetooth support, support for iPod slash iPhone, which I suppose would just be plugging in via USB. And then you have support for both wireless and wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Therefore... Taking out the fact that we don't have a disc player in here, which pretty much no car does here in 2024, this car has more audio inputs than I know what to do with. Very, very few cars are still rocking a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. The fact this is redesigned and still keeps that, it's going to make very few people very, very happy. Speaker locations. Now, we get two extra speakers for this year of Harman Kardon and uh, Subaru Forester. Last year we had nine speakers, and from the best I can tell, they added a two-channel speaker. So, I think what we're looking at, I, I wasn't able to find confirmation online, but door woofer there, one, mid-ranger tweeter combo up there, two, three, four, five, and six on the other side. 
coming into the back we're looking at a second combo set of speakers seven eight nine ten and then if we fire up the now powered tailgate we're looking at subwoofer back here giving us 11. I know that 5.1 surround sound audio is not going to be a super high priority for most drivers, but some people want to know if their vehicle supports it. So let's see what we got here with the immersive audio album surround sound demo track. Welcome to the immersive audio album channel configuration test. Left. Center. Right. Left surround. Right surround. LFE. Okay, so it's only two channel stereo, Immersive but at least it's down mixing properly from that 5.1. So if you were to play some 5.1 music in here, it would still sound uh, proper like a, like a stereo track at least. So that is good. And admittedly, I'm not expecting 5.1 support here at this price point. With all that out of the way, let's head out on the road.
getting the most impressive holistic sound out of the system, but I gotta say the power is impressive. And the fact that we're getting so much punch from that subwoofer for coming back there, admittedly it is a little bit too much, but you can just dial that down with the bass settings and the EQ, not the end of the world there. So I'd rather have too much than too little. For this next track, we will turn the bass the other direction, all the way up, see what happens. Uh, it's already really, really powerful. Oh yeah. I'm getting that. I'm feeling it from both the door woofers and the subwoofer. We got mirrors shaking, feeling in my seat. That's a powerful subwoofer back there. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. Let's see. Even, even that bass, like no bass, it's uh, pretty strong. On the 11 speaker Harman Kardon sound system here in the 24, no, no 25 Forester. It's from, from, a, from a holistic sound quality perspective, if you're comparing it to really high end audio systems, it's not that impressive. You, if you listen to more complex music, especially louder, you're not going to hear your favorite elements of the music, and certain parts of the songs are not going to come through the way they should. However, for this class of vehicle and for this price point, I respect and appreciate Subaru for just giving us that power, giving us the satisfaction in simpler music and the easier to recreate sounds, and acknowledging that they're not going for this amazing top tier sound system. So, is it class leading? No. Is it uh, is it up there with the the JBL in the Rav4 and especially the Bose in the CX-5? Not quite, but. It is sneaking in with a B tier rating, more like a B minus, but B tier because I respect the subwoofer power, all of the audio inputs, the wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, and that, yeah, for the price point, you know, this not being a top tier system, the fact you can get this sound system in a lot of the different trims, yeah, that's not too bad. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Super Forster, check the link below, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from DM Sound, and as always, Come on.